well, 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 happy birthday to me. This is coming out well after my actual birthday, but it's relevant. So I went to Docklands to redeem my two free birthday sessions that you get as a member. The only issue, as we'll see it coming up, is that you're part of a public session. So anyone can turn up. This is going to be great. Can I get a single green flag lap in either session? We'll find out. If you want to see more content like this, then be sure to show your support by hitting the like button below and clicking subscribe to see all of it. Let's get into it. So hopefully you like the upgrade to camera quality. We're now running with a GoPro Hero 7 White for the full 1080p quality. I rock up in my full kit new gloves that I got for my birthday, which look sexy. Uh, anyway, everyone else is in rented kit, which isn't a great sign, but we're still optimistic. You don't know who's under the helmet until you get out on track. We go out and the cart in front takes the go at walking pace while there's a yellow flag. Literally, but it's fine. They're being safe. We can do some tire warming. Um, yep, just following the rules here. But not everyone was listening to Bruce when they said no overtaking when it's yellow flags. This guy's just going. Okay, that's uh, that's great. Now, in the members races, we go a bit more than walking pace, but we kind of realised that. If there's a crash somewhere, we slow down, look out for the marshals, have somewhat more kind of skill with it. But here, as you can now see, this guy put it straight into the barrier. So this is under yellow flags. Hasn't gone green at all. People are still coming onto the track. And he's managed to hit the barrier. And there he is again. So, if this is a precursor for what this session is going to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we skip ahead to our first green flag of the race. Uh, got the cart ahead of us, cart 16 with the blue suit. Just following around, no need to make any dives or lunges. We try to go around the outside, get squeezed, so we come back around this side, and everyone slow down, so we just take our time. There'll be a nice opening soon, and we go around the outside, close to getting punted there, but we make it round. Into turn, no, no, we don't even make it into turn three. There's someone who's, I don't know how you get that there. How do you, how do you get a cart in that position? So we've had five corners of green flag racing, um, and we see a couple cars ahead of us, so let's jump back up to let's jump back up to them. Skip ahead to restart, and we're green. Go past that slow cart. That's fine. Nice and easy. It's one corner in green. It's two corners in green. Three corners in green. We've actually made it to four corners of green flag racing. Can we do five? Yep, we've got three carts ahead of us. So we'd go around the inside on this one. That's five, six corners. Around the outside here. Oh, we get a double overtake and seven, eight corners of green flag racing. Don't you just love to see it? Nine. This is incredible. And we're yellow. Again. Okay. <laughs> Why? Yellow again. So I've skipped ahead a lot because all that happens is it goes green for a few corners and someone punts into a wall or gets spun out into a wall. And then shit like this happens. Like, come on. It's a yellow flag. Don't overtake. And we're about to see why you don't overtake on a yellow flag because, well, first of all, there's a cart who's put himself into the wall there. And you've got a marshal on track. Why are you overtaking when there's a marshal on the track? It's just basic safety and common sense, guys. I mean, look, just follow the rules, be safe. There's no need for it. So we've got a whole bunch of carts ahead of us and we've got a whole bunch of carts be behind us and they're gonna let us go green in the worst possible place. So here we go, we're green. We go for a move around the outside. Look at this. 
There's five carts, all trying to get round, and someone just puts it into the wall. That's what we're done. And everyone piles up behind, and we just sit that This is funny at this point. Like, there's nothing else you can do but laugh. We get out quite quickly. But, yeah, like, I could have sat back and watched it happen, but just thought, let's go for it, see what happens, and lo and behold, exactly what I thought the outcome would be, it was. Um, so let's just move to the next session. So after this session, one of the marshals actually came to me and said, hey, stay in the cart, we'll give you another ses a session with a different group who were going next, because they do alternate sessions. So you do one session with your f one group, then someone else goes, and then you go again. So I got to stay. Um, and I thought, oh, okay, this will just be my second session. He went, no, 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 this is a replacement because it is, you couldn't really drive much. So really top quality from the team sports staff there. Um, class, really. Uh, so thanks to, to them for that. But it means that I got to go and have two proper sessions with this group of people. Now, my first session, I was an idiot, and I put my GoPro into time-lapse. Not good. So, nothing really much happened there. Like, my fastest lap was 50. It's nothing special. But let's jump into the second session. So, in between sessions, I spoke to a couple of the people, uh, and they were kind of pointed out that I was the one that was fastest on track, which is brand new for me. I've never been the fastest on track when I've been karting. Usually Matt's faster than me, but in the members races, I'm like in the middle. So I'm like, I'm loving it at this point. I feel like Lewis Hamilton, Ayrton Senna, Michael Schumacher, like I'm, I'm the gift from God behind the cart. Uh, <laughs> um, but you know, it, it was nice. It was a nice feeling. Uh, and it's also nice just to be friendly with people and, um, and kind of give them some encouragement as well knowing that I'm not the fastest I know that I, you just kind of want to give the positive energy to other people so gave them a few pointers uh, that I knew helped me get faster from when I started and these are people that I had been a couple times before um, so some things like at the top you don't need to touch the brakes at all and they were quite taken aback by that like yeah you don't need to brake for quite a lot of this course really so that was quite funny seeing the reaction to that. And actually afterwards I saw them at the reception and they were talking about getting a membership, trying to, trying to buy one. So I hope you guys did, if you're watching this. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next members event whenever I turn up to it. So we've got this number three cut and he goes a bit sideways. We get a good exit on the outside. It's a different line I was trying to take as well that I was practicing throughout the day and I think I'm a lot faster through that corner taking a wider apex. But we're through. Uh, that car, <laughs> that kid just yeets it round and hey, he got around the corner. That's definitely one way of doing it but I wouldn't say it's the fastest way. <laughs> so we had two green flag laps and then it went yellow and then red so now we're back on green with a car ahead of us. Uh, so the number 10 car Let's go up the ramp. Again, keep it nice and tight at the apex. Let the cart slide out. He has a big slide on entry. Doesn't get a good exit, but we're not that far along him, so we've got to give him some space. He puts it sideways on exit, and we get a good run down the inside. So that kind of goes to show that you can overtake on this track. You've just got to know where to place it. Give him a thumbs up. Say so thanks for not getting... Say so thanks for not punting into me. Uh, I think it's always quite nice to do because uh, they might get a bit frustrated that you've overtaken them and you just say, hey, thanks for letting me by and not crashing into me. So after the overtake, a few more laps of decent running, get a yellow flag and we've got, I think, two carts ahead of us with another two in front of them, it looks like. Oh, one's been put into the wall there. 
So he's kind of catching them up the ramp, and they're going walking pace as they're told. Get squeezed here, have to actually hit the brakes, which isn't which isn't good. But we go green straight away, and we go for an inside dive. Nicely done. Just follow these people around the exit, and we can make an outside. Nope, we go for the switch back. Oh, and they spin and we kind of hit them. That's unavoidable. Uh, give them a wave to kind of let them know it's all right, sorry, uh, type thing. So that's two dispatched. Let's catch the other two. Now it seems that they're quite far ahead, but we get a good entry into turn one. They go a bit sideways on exit as well. And so we go for the inside line on turn three and go for the switch back here which just about, oh no, car 18 is putting up quite a fight I have to, I have to big brain this guy so give him a bit of a go faster nudge and we go down the inside here, this time we keep our foot in and make him run wide and we get the job done on the inside of turn 10 oh they're still right next to us so to be a bit defensive into the double hairpin, but once we've cleared him, we're good to go and chase the next guy. So, we've caught up to the guy ahead. Cart number 15, and we try to go through the fake chicane, but not going to happen. Let it go. It's not a great place to try and overtake. Try to throw someone around the outside. Nothing doing here. And they're still too far ahead, so are we going to go for the switch back again? We are, they've gone super defensive. Uh, Pad down a bit too early on the exit and went sideways, so we've got a nice clear run. And we passed them. This is great, so... Whilst we're not, you know, battling seriously competitive drivers, we are able to kind of practice and see where the good lines are for overtaking. And also because I'm pretty bad at, at defending, I get to see what the overtaker gets to see when they go past me and mistakes I make. So it's actually quite good to watch this back and go, ah, I should probably not do what that person did when I overtook them. But we are catching up now to one of the guys that I was talking to. No, I didn't like that apparently. Oh no, we've got two carts ahead of us. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, he puts it sideways, gets it around, that's good. So this was one of the guys I was talking to, he had a purple race suit, how I remember. And um, I think he was probably trying to let me through, but I didn't want to put him under pressure, so I was like, just, just go, I'll wait behind, I'm, this is not a race. And yeah, his lines are, are pretty good. A uh, little bit happy on the throttle, I think, or maybe the braking issue. but. We go past, give him the, the hang tight hand wave and send it for a couple corners. Then I kind of back off, um, let him catch up so you can see, hopefully pick up some good stuff from me and I actually do the stuff properly. Again, I'm not the best person to follow, I'm not the fastest, but um, <laughs> I'm faster than them so if they can pick up stuff that I do that will help them, then great. And we talked afterwards, their times did improve, so I will take that as a win. On a side note, just look how late I hit the apex there. Oh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So it was good that I was getting some, some practice, making sure my lines were a lot better than last time, so that when I am pushing it, I can, I've had that slow um, attempt at doing it, so that when I'm coming to it, it's a lot faster. Uh, so we've got two carts ahead of us, let's see what we can do here. So we follow this one up the inside, get round nicely, number four, and just put it in the inside where there's space, give them thumbs up, thanks for not punting into me, and we're through. So now we come back to two carts ahead of us, number 14, and He's hustling it around. We've got number eight, I think, on the or six there. So we take the inside line, which is nice. Go for the switch back. 
which we don't get for turn two. Turn three, let it run. I'm just taking the racing line here. Go for the switch back here. And we get it nicely into T5. Thumbs up. And that's pretty much the session. Um, whilst it was frustrating with the first session not actually having uh, a green flag lap to put anything down consistently, the last two were quite good. The people were better racing, cleaner racing, gave you a bit more space, so it was nice. Um, but it was also good to talk to them in between because you know, they were just starting to get into karting. They liked it. They wanted to learn more. Uh, they were happy to to like talk and listen, uh, and I was happy to talk to them as well. So it was great, and it's it's really good that people are getting into it. So why not give them that you know encouragement to do it? You know, don't dive bomb them. Don't be really aggressive with them on track. There's just no need for it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit the like button below. Uh, leave a comment if you want to comment about anything, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys later. Take care.